Now in this video, let us look at the solution of question number 23. And this 23 uh, question is from data structure subject. And as you can see, they are given a hash function. Okay, so they are saying the hash function, the hash key is defined as key mod 7. So whatever the result will be, so that is going to tell uh, the location of an element. Okay, so the resultant of this key will be telling the location of the element in the hash table. Okay, and they are using linear probing in terms of collision. So this we use when we have collision. Okay, so is used to insert the keys. Uh, in, these are the keys into a table, which is indexed from zero to six. What will be the location of the keys? And remember, they are also giving the index of the hash table. Okay, so the keys that we have, they are 44, 45, 79, 55, 91, 18, and 63. So total we have uh, six index locations. I see seven index locations from zero to six. This is index location zero, index location one, two, three, four, five. Then we have six, and then we have seven. This is actually representing our hash table. Okay. Now in this hash table, we are going to insert all these elements one by one. So we'll take every key once and we are going to find the hash formula. So we have the first key is 44. So we are going to find the location of 44 by using this formula. So it will be a hash of 44 will be equal to 44 mod 7. Okay. Now if you divide 44 by 7, then you will know the remainder is actually 2 because 4, 7 into 6 is 42. Uh, so remainder if you divide 44 by 7 then the remainder is going to be 2 therefore this 44 will be placed at this location okay so the second is number 45 so we have 45 so we can find out hash of 45 can be written as 45 mode 7 which is going to give us the value 3 so 45 will be placed here so the next number that we have is 79 so we have a uh, hash of 79 uh, which is 79 mod 7 which is going to give us the value 2 because uh, you can divide by 11 so remainder will be 2 so because we are using linear probing as you can know that there's already an element here so we are using linear probing so what is the linear probing that in case of collision in case of collision in case of collision so we are going to increment the value of the numbers for example there we are, we are going to use key plus i mod n okay where i which is uh, actually uh, ranging from 0 1 2 3 so when we have a collision then we will increment the value of i as 1 so here because we have a collision at index location 2 so it will be a hash of 79 uh, will be 79 plus 1 mod 7 which is going to give us the location 3 where in location 3 also we already have an element now if i do uh, next will be hash of 79 can be counted as 79 plus 2 mod 7 by this we can find out the value as 4 therefore 79 can be stored here okay i hope that you understood this one so next is 55 so we have hash of 55 can be written as 55 mod 7 and what is 55 mod 7 you know uh, 7 into uh, 7 is 49 so if you divide 55 by 7 so we are going to have a remainder 6 so 55 will be stored here okay then we have 91 so I'm going to make hash of 91 is equal to 91 mod 7 so if you divide 91 by 7 you can see uh, 91 divided by 7 7 is a 7 so it will be 7 then we have 21 so 7 3 is a 21 okay so it will be 30 uh, uh, it can be completely divided at 13 so this will be 0 so remainder is 0 hence 91 can be stored here okay now next value here is 18 so for 18 let me just write take one more color pen so if we have the value as 18 so it will be hash of 18 can be written as 18 mod 7 so the remainder will be uh, 4 okay so because 7 to this is 14 so at the index location 4 we already have an element therefore because we are using linear probing so it will be next time 18 plus 1 mod 7 so which is going to give us the value 19 mod 7 and 19 mod 7 is representing the location 5 so 18 will be stored here 
okay the last number here is 63 so we have hash of 63 which is 63 mod 7 and you can find out the 63 is completely divisible by 7 so this is going to give us the value of 0 but at location 0 we already have a number so I'm going to make it 63 plus 1 mod 7 so which is going to give us a location 1 so 63 can be stored here okay now we have completed all the elements we inserted all the elements in the hash table now they are asking what is the location of the key 18 what is the location of uh, where is the key yeah so what is the location of the key 18 okay and you can see here 18 is stored at the location number 5 so answer to this question is not option number 1 it is not option number 2 it is option number 3 which is 5 and not option number 4 so correct answer to this question is option number 3 now if you want to uh, take our video lecture courses then you can call us on this number and you can uh, email us on this number that is we have created a most comprehensive course for UGC net exam preparation uh, there is every subject is taught in complete details and we can also join us join our offline classroom batch for UGC net uh, December examination uh, for joining the batch just call us on this number and get the complete information from us and I hope that you understood this question now let us solve the question number 24 thank you so much for watching